Hey Kitty, can you read me Zoe, please? I'm all set to read the story. Are you ready? Hi friends, look who's here today. Hi Fly. Oh, Fly, where are you? Oh, there you are. Friends, say hi to Fly. Again gone? Oh no, look at those naughty flies. They are pestering the cow. But why are they disturbing this poor cow? Maybe we should read this book to find out why fly pesters cow. By Jacob Jacobs, illustrated by Stephen Wallace. Have you ever seen a herd of cows in the field? Every now and then, you will notice a cow shaking her head. She tries to drive away the flies that pester her. But why do these flies zoom zoom see around the cow's head? They say it started long long ago in a far off country. The country's queen was very rich and had a kind heart. One day, she decided to arrange a huge banquet. All the animals were invited. The enormous tables were beautifully laden. Every table groomed under the delicacies, dishes full of meat, freshly baked bread, steaming vegetables and honey sweet fruit. The animals smacked their lips when they saw the delicious food. The largest animal at each table should sit at the head, the queen said. It is his or her job to dish out the food. Cow shared a table with sheep, goats, dog, goose and fly. Since cow was the biggest, she started dishing out the food. Each animal received a big chunk of home-baked bread with grape jam and cheese. But because fly was so small, cow hardly noticed her. Zoom zoom zee! What about me? I would also like something to eat, you see. Fly grumbled. But cow pretended not to hear fly. She tucked into the delicious bread. Poor fly sat there deprived of everything, watching the other animals eat. When they had finished the last crumb of bread, cow started dishing out the meat and vegetables. Each animal received a large plate of food. But because fly was so small, cow once again hardly noticed her. Zoom zoom see, what about me? I would also like something to eat, you see. Fly grumbled louder than before. Cow rolled her eyes and was annoyed with fly. Hey, where are your manners? Cow said. A bug like you doesn't even belong at the queen's banquet. You can wait until the bigger animals have finished. The food was finished in two ticks. Poor fly didn't receive the tiniest morsel. Cow started sharing the fruit. There were delicious watermelon. Juicy span stick and red cheeked apples. All the animals received food, but Fly had to go without it. Zoom zoom zee! What about me? I'd also like something to eat, you see? Fly complained. Cow laughed and took a bite from her apple. Do you hear something? She asked the other animals at the table. I don't hear anything. In a jiffy, all the food at the table had been finished. The animals were overstuffed. Everyone except Fly. Her tummy growled with hunger. After the meal, it was time to dance and be merry. But Fly was angry. She decided to go home. The queen noticed Fly. Why are you leaving, Fly? The queen asked. Don't you enjoy my banquet? The fly curtsied before the queen. 
I'm sorry, Your Majesty, she said. I'm sure the food was delicious, but I didn't have a tiny morsel of food. And she told the Queen what had happened. The Queen was very angry when she heard what Cow had done. From now on, you and your friends may pester Cow every day, the Queen said. From morning till night, you may buzz around her ears. It will teach her a lesson. She will never be able to ignore you again. And she'll see that even the tiniest insect is important to me. And that is exactly what Fly has been doing until today. She and her friends buzz around the cow's ears from morning till night. And while they are doing it, they sing, Zoom, zoom, zee! Never ever again can you ignore us. Say, Amen. The end. This story shows us the beautiful message that no matter the size, age, gender, wealth or position, we should respect everyone around us. Right, Fly? Hope you enjoyed the story. And always keep in mind the moral value we learned. Will you? Yes? Then press the like button. See you next time with another story. Bye!